All it took was one tiny piece of foam to destroy this entire space shuttle, taking everyone inside with it. It's January 16, 2003. Seven astronauts were set to take off in the Columbia Space Shuttle for a 16-day trip into space. They were going to orbit the Earth doing research and gathering data for scientists on the ground. Everyone gathered around to watch. Three, two, one, lift off. Everything went as expected. Some NASA staff noted something falling off the shuttle, 82 seconds after launch. A piece of foam, but that's fine. It's happened plenty of times before and never caused major issues. Mission Control let the astronauts know, and the mission went on as planned. The astronauts did amazing work, not realizing that this would be the last 16 days of their lives. They completed a total of 80 experiments on board the shuttle. Working around the clock, they produced even better than expected results. Finally, it was time to go home. As the shuttle entered the Earth's atmosphere, Mission Control on Earth began to count down. At 16 minutes before landing, Mission Control lost contact with the Columbia Space Shuttle. The shuttle disintegrated over Northeast Texas, exploding into over 2,000 pieces. No one survived, except surprisingly for a canister of microscopic worms used for an experiment. How did this happen? How could a single piece of foam take down an entire space shuttle? The piece of foam had fallen off of the shuttle's external tank and hit the Columbia's left wing. This damaged the heat-resistant tiles covering its front edge. Nobody in Mission Control nor the astronauts noticed until re-entry. The extreme heat from entering the Earth's atmosphere infiltrated the wing, destroying important hydraulic systems. It sent the shuttle into a death spiral, disintegrating into the skies over Texas. The astronauts were never forgotten. Seven asteroids, seven moon craters, and seven hills on Mars were named after them. What do you think? What other space tragedies have you heard of?